Hey YouTube, Scott Scott Offroad, how you doing today? Well, we're in the garage, we're working on the Impala. We had some issues with this, it's the wife's car. Just went on vacation, uh, those videos are just recently posted. Um, this is just a follow up on fixing the car. A P16CF, intake rocker arm solenoid valve number two control circuit. Advised to replace the valve rocker arm oil control and change the oil and filter. All right, these are the tools that were used. A quarter inch torque wrench that does inch pounds. Body panel removal tool. Small screwdriver. T30 Torx bit. 5 sixteenths impact bit. 5 sixteenths quarter inch drive. 10 millimeter quarter inch drive extension quarter inch ratchet and then a drill or nut driver for getting it done quick additionally i used a magnetic retrieval tool and a shop light all right first thing we're going to do is the t30 take the oil cap off rag in there so we don't get any oil in it and the engine cover comes off now the part we're replacing is right back underneath this so we got to take this cover off this intake plenum so let's see what's involved in that take this piece off right back here is a bolt. I think that's a 10 millimeter. We'll check. Yep, 10 millimeter. There's a connector right here. Let's see what else there is underneath this that we need to take apart here. It looks like there's a connector right here. And one right behind the oil fill that we need to pop off that go into hoses that feed this plenum. It looks like potentially you can undo that one and leave the other two connected. I'm just not sure what's going to be easier at this point. We'll find out. Connectors. There's a little tab on them. You fold the tab over. Or lift it up and the hose just slides off the back. We'll do one there. And a little tab right here on top. Push it over. And that's it. Now let's see what's next. All right, I'll show you on the back side once I get this off, but there's two zip tie press in fittings that I unhooked and I could probably just bend this up and out of the way on this plenum right here on this hose, but that's going to make it hard to film. So I'm going to try taking it off. I don't think this is necessary, but we're going to try it. Intake plenum. Before I do anything, I'm going to put just a rag over that hole so that we don't drop anything in. Now, on the back side, these two holes, you had some wiring and a hose that had a push-in zip tie on a Christmas tree that just snapped in there. And just using a body panel removal tool, I was able to get those off without damaging them. And then... There, it looks like there's right here and right here just some press in fittings this is the hoses that you had to unhook on the front 
Again, this drops down to the engine. This goes to the air intake. Right here is one of those press-in fittings for the bottom. Here's where the screw went. Here's where the two hoses went. And here are the little Christmas tree wires. Wire tie right there and right here that go on the top. And right here is the part. So we gotta undo this connector and unbolt it. And that should be a 10 millimeter as well. Push the little red dial back, push in, wire connector comes off. Pretty simple. Bolt here, here, and here. Oh, that sucks. Wasn't supposed to do that. And there's the part. Alright, here we are. Here's the new part. Open her up. Again, this is the only part in existence. Dun da da. Comes with new hardware. Dun da da. And it looks the same. New versus old. Yep. Same part. All right. Don't know why they don't make it. Anywho, looks like the long bolt goes in the center, short bolts go on the outside. piece of paper towel here just a little bit of oil came out so I'll wipe that up just so I don't have any smoking and everything bolts on nice and clean Looks like I just dodged a major bullet here. Just found a GM Tech link talking about this and one of the links said to make sure you check your component here. I'll take this cover off. For this piece right here and that piece right there. If those two pieces are missing you have to replace the rocker cover because they're probably dislodged inside the rocker cover. So fortunately they're in there, keeps this a quick easy fix. Alright, per the dealership 89 inch pounds on this. I like to rotate them a little bit on each one so we don't over torque. back on the red piece back forward now it's just a matter of putting everything back together I think what I'm gonna try I'm having a little difficulty getting this back together I'm gonna try to
take the hose off the bottom of the plenum and see if I can't get a straighter attachment. Because the last thing I want to do is break one of these little plastic pieces. That'd be bad. Quick and easy. I think I've got less than an hour into this. Okay, per the dealership, 89 inch pounds. And don't drop the socket down below. Dang it. <laughs> 